What we have on the bench here is some equipment that's used to test the specific gravity of your electrolyte within the battery. We have two types of hydrometers, two different styles, or actually three different styles. One uses little bulbous little floater buttons that float up inside and depending upon the placement of those buttons it tells you what the specific gravity is of the electrolyte. The second type we have here it performs the same function except it uses a little bulb inside that floats up inside the electrolyte but it also comes equipped with a thermometer. And that thermometer is used to determine the actual temperature of the electrolyte and the environment around it because the specific gravity of your electrolyte and for testing purposes based upon 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature is above or below you will either add or subtract from your electrolyte measurement a percentage or a numeric value from that value, from the original value to, press, to temperature compensate for your electrolyte. The third type of hydrometer just basically has a little floating lever inside that will measure and indicate as to whether or not you have a good state or a poor state of charge. A piece of equipment that is more accurate or most accurate is your fractimeter. This device here where you basically take, you take a drop of electrolyte, place it on the lens, close up the cap, and then you point in the direction of light looking through the eyepiece and the eyepiece inside you will see a reading and a line will appear across where your level of electrolyte occurs. You'll see a blend line. On the bench here we've laid out n numerous pieces of equipment that are used to test and clean and service the batteries. What we have here is a set of test leads and we use these so we do not melt down the battery terminals of our battery while we are load testing. These are critical pieces of equipment because it's hard to explain to a customer that you've, you've just melted this battery post and he needs a new battery. Okay. The second component here is a nylon brush which is used in conjunction with this red bucket here that contains water and a baking soda solution used to clean off the battery prior to testing. Next pieces here, these three components here are used for cleaning both your terminals on your battery and your terminals on your cables. So you can clean out the stuff, clean out your corrosion buildup or oxidation that occurs when you've got the chemical reaction going on with current flow. These other tools here are used for removing, spacing. This is a spacer for your clamp type battery terminal. This here is a pair of pliers specifically designed for removing your nuts on battery terminals. And this tool here is a mini clamp used for pulling off your terminal.